try for something a little bit different, you guys. Alrighty. My first diesel locomotive review. Can you believe it? Whoops. <laughs> Where am I at? Okay, headlight. There we go. Pressing the wrong buttons here. Welcome back. The kid is back, ladies and gentlemen. Railroad Kid 1937 here for my first diesel locomotive review. My Santa Fe SD45-2. Okay. There's another interesting story to this train as well. All my trains have good stories. You guys... Oh, I just want to say this. First of all, you guys, thank you so much. Your comments are just amazing. I appreciate every single one of them. Um, you guys just have no idea how much this means to me. My other, my older YouTube channel never got comments, or very rarely got comments. Um, and but I was doing something completely different. It was I was doing Transformers back then. But you guys are just awesome. I noticed that people in the model railroad community are just freaking great. Uh, all you guys, all you guys are amazing. Also, want to let you know I'm at 98 subscribers right now, so all I need are two more, two more to get to 100. And uh, <laughs> I really, I would really appreciate it if I could get just two more subscribers. So please, please, two more It'd be freaking awesome. Uh, but yeah, I just want to thank the 98 subscribers that I have as well. You guys have just been freaking amazing. Also. As you notice, I'm pu I'm just pulling out the reviews here. Uh, the reason being because I'm counting down, and I know I haven't said this in the other videos, but I'm counting down the days till the train show. Uh, and let's see, today is Thursday, so the train show is on Sunday. So three days left, you guys. So freaking excited! You know what sucks though? So my history teacher for my class, right? I had done all my work for last week, right? She had assigned a bunch of work. I got all that done over my weekend last week. So I didn't have my weekend, but I got all that done so I could have this weekend off. And she piles on two more huge homework assignments for this weekend. So I'm going to stay up late tonight, go ahead and get one of them done, try and do the other one tomorrow. And then when I get back home from the train club tomorrow, try and also uh, get that other assignment finished up. Uh, but... It hopefully won't take me too long. I might be up to like 1 or 2 in the morning again at night. But, you know what? For the train show, it's freaking worth it. Anyway, on to the review itself. I know I'm rambling on here. This is my Santa Fe SD45-2, like I said. And it is my favorite diesel locomotive that I own. Okay, First of all, I am a Santa Fe guy. I'm not going to lie. Santa Fe is my favorite railroad. Uh, and when I, 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 the reason I bought this was because that one of the train, it, it, it was a Christmas present, technically, uh, but I wasn't supposed to get it. And then let me explain. So if you guys remember last year, around Christmas time, I had posted up a video, or a few videos, you know, leading you on, like, yeah, man, I got this, I got a steam engine in the mail, my first steam, steam locomotive with sound, ECC and sound, I just have to wait to see what it is. Got it in the mail. Okay? Got it in the mail. I got it, like, two weeks before Christmas, was stupid, waited till Christmas morning to open the train up, right? Unwrapped it, ripped open the packaging, took it out of, it was a back of the spectrum, took it out of the box, it was a 210, okay, Santa Fe 210, opened out of the box, put it in the track, this went, oh, I had an orgasm for a second, and uh, basically just, I was, I was freaking out because it sounded so nice, you know, I was like, oh my gosh, my first steam engine was sound. But uh, what I did was I hooked up a couple of boxcars behind it, and it wouldn't pull those boxcars. And I was like, what the heck was going on? And no matter what we did to that train, it didn't make a difference. I, the train would literally not pull more than about two or three freight cars without weight. Not These cars aren't even weighted, keep in mind. I mean, they're, they're, they're well... Okay, I can't say that. They, they didn't have like a bunch of weights in them, but they were well-weighted cars. At any rate... Um, it wouldn't pull more than about two or three cars. So I was, as you can imagine, I was upset. I kicked and screamed until I uh, went, I basically called the company that I bought the train from, packaged it back up, put it in the box, and had to wait. Uh, they were, what they were going to do is they said they would give me an in-store credit. I bought it online. I buy most of my products online, unless I bought it from the shows. Um, but went back, packaged it up, sent it back. Was kind of scared about that. Because uh, I didn't, I never done anything like that before. I never had to send anything back, uh, and they, I was, I was waiting to get my credit. So uh, I was talking to my mom, 
And I was telling her how upset I was. She's like, no, I'll go ahead and buy you another train. I'm like, okay, wait, what? I'm like, yeah, she said, yeah, sure, I'll buy you another train. And she said she was going to buy me another train with the credit that they gave us, of course. And uh, she said, you know what, I'll buy you one before then. I said, what? And she said, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and be, let's go, we can go down to the train store this weekend, and I'll, you can go ahead and pick out a train, and I'll, I'll let, you, let you pick out a train to buy. And, you know, this is, now this is not counting the in-store credit that we're waiting for from the, from the company that I bought the train from, the other train from, right? So she's basically taking money out of her pocket to go buy me a new train to make up for the one that was broken. So we went to the train store a couple of days later. I believe, actually, I believe it was the next day. Uh, it's called Sunset Junction, Sunset Junction in Spokane, Washington. And I went in there, and I was looking around, and uh, they, didn't, they, don't, they didn't really have too many steam engines with sound. So I was looking around, you know, I said, you know, I'll probably get a steam engine. With, at that time, I was planning to get a cab forward. And, you know, you know I'm going to get a cab forward, so, you know, maybe I'll switch it up, get a diesel. And what I did was I saw this bad boy in the case, and uh, the gentleman that was behind the counter, he said, "He said, let, let me see if I we can give you a discount on that." He said, "You know, normally that train is like two hundred and sixty some odd dollars. I believe we got it, or no, he said it was two eighty. I believe we got it for like two, what was it, like two forty, two thirty, somewhere around there. Anyway, we got a discount on the train, uh, and he sets it on the track because they've got a they've got a test track there. He sets it on the track." It fires up instantly, and everybody in the store is like, "Oh boy!" He and this is what he does. Okay, he he presses function six, and this light comes on, and I was I was just freaking out. I'm like, "Oh my gosh!" I said, "Does that light at the top work?" He's like, "Yeah." He said, "That's function six. So he turns it on. And it's like it's blinking. I'm like, "Oh my gosh!" And so I was I was so ecstatic. But that's basically how I got that look motor. And the one that I got for the in-store credit, instead of getting a cab forward, I was going to get an Intermountain cab forward, but I heard I heard bad reviews on it. I, instead, I got my MTH Daylight. So that's basically the story how I got the Daylight and the uh, SD45-2. But let's get on to the actual review of this beautiful locomotive. Okay, so as I said, this is my favorite diesel locomotive. I actually changed a few of the CVs in here. Um, I found out that this was a Tsunami Sound decoder, okay? Now, normally with Tsunami Sound trains nowadays, with all my steam engines that I get, you'll get a CD-ROM to put into your computer that's got all the instructions on it. This one didn't come with a CD-ROM. I guess I have the Midas touch or something. I just fired it up. This one didn't come with a CD-ROM, so the, I changed a few of the functions. I changed the headlight, uh, or changed the reverser light on here. It looks like a... I forget what you call it. The same kind of same type of light that's on the daylight. Oh, strobe light. Excuse me. Wow. I changed that. I changed the light in the front. I want to change light in the front to be a constant headlight, but I changed it to this. I'll just turn it on for you real quick. It 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 blinks too. It's supposed to be a strobe light as well. Kept this one the same. Um, this light is just awesome. I love that. Uh, I remember. At the last train show, I let one of my friends run this one, and people just absolutely loved it. He did a lot of switching with this locomotive. And, you know, this is a great locomotive to do switching with, or even just to run it around your layout. I love using this engine. You know what? I really like this engine because when I was younger, my grandfather and I, when we used to go out to the train yard, we'd see a lot of these. A lot of the SD45-2s, just like this, painted in this color scheme, and they would be, you know, swill, hooking up. They'd be... Uh, just lashed up together. You see, like four or five of them lashed up with a couple of Burlington Northerns. And, you know, it just it just brings back memories. But this locomotive, the reason not only does it have sentimental value to it, because one, my mom bought it for me too, so it reminds me of when my grandpa and I used to go to the train yard. But a third reason is the sound. I love the sound of this locomotive. I mean, I, with my diesels, I'm not as picky as my steam locomotives because to me, all diesels really sound the same. And I know that sounds pretty bad. But that's that's just my thing. I'm not. I'm, I mean, I love diesels. Don't get me wrong. But I'm more of a steam era diesel kind of guy. But I really, I really, I do like my diesels. And this is this one's just gorgeous. Uh, lots of detail on it. I'm not gonna lie. This this is an Athern Genesis. Athern Genesis. Just thought I'd let you know. Lots of detail on it. You got all the little handrails in here and pipe detail. MU hoses right here. Um, what else do we have? The windows, this is one thing I was surprised about. One day I know I was messing with the windows and I found out that they actually open and close on the side of the engine. Freaking awesome. Love, love this model. 
so let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and run it for you guys a little bit. Show you some of the sounds. We've got the horn. Now I changed the horn. Keep in mind, this is a lot louder than the horn that I originally had. But let's go ahead and blow it for you real quick. I love that. We got the bell. Now this bell is just freaking awesome. I love this bell. Now I'll go ahead and grab up the engine here. Put it in reverse. Now here's the thing about this engine. The sound quality on it is absolutely amazing. Oh, you guys can't see it. <laughs> the sound quality on the engine is absolutely amazing, and the video will not do it justice. Okay, I'm just going to let you know that right now. If you ever wanted to pick one of these bad boys up, I suggest it. If you are a modern era kind of guy, this is a locomotive that you're going to want to have in your fleet. It's It runs well. It, it's very powerful. It pulls a lot of cars. I pulled maybe 25 cars in, without even a uh, struggle uh, no strain on the engine whatsoever just absolutely amazing I love it um, what else can I say about this engine buy it <laughs> that's all I really can say uh, my road number is 5647 I've got that plug in my controller um, I've seen a lot of other people with the same model that's going to have different numbers but uh, the, the knuckles are okay I think they're McHenry's I'm not sure we can rescale couplers. Uh, I prefer KDs overall because KD has a nice coupler. Backman's easy make couplers. Those are pretty nice. I like those too. But KDs are the best. I might, I'll probably swap these out with KDs because I have a few KD couplers left. But other than that, guys, if you if you really wanted a new diesel locomotive, I suggest the Santa Fe SD45-2 by Athers. Um, I'm going to flip this around for you so you can see the strobe light that's in the back here. It's just so cool. So I changed I change the CVs on this. As I said, go okay. ahead. See here? I was flicking. I just love that. I love running this engine in reverse sometimes just for that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. Uh, once again, I appreciate everyone's comments. Please leave a comment in this video. Uh, in the in the description box. Wow. Please just leave a comment on this video. I, I love all your comments. I take all of them to heart. I know a lot of, one of you said that uh, the only suggestion that you have for me is to basically to improve the camera quality and I understand this camera. I'm using my webcam that's on my laptop which is why the, ca well, the quality isn't that great but one of these days I'll get a better camera. Even my iPod could probably take a better uh, picture than this. So one, I'll probably try and do a review of my iPod one of these days and give you a close-up look at some of these engines. But anyway as always, I'd like to say peace, God bless, thanks for watching the review, and I appreciate all you guys. Catch y'all later. Three days! Three days!